All right, Shalom, Brother Kabad back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors for our apostles and elders, a great millstone, teach us his truth according to the Bible and rule well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity, man. All right. Uh, the title's lesson is Seek the Kingdom. All right. You so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hebrew Israelites, man, woman, and child, seek the kingdom, man. Okay? And there's a reason why you should seek the kingdom, man. You know? Salvation. Okay, everlasting uh, 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 rest, peace. Okay? Treasures. Okay? So I'm going to grab some uh, scriptures and Lord wills be edifying, you know. <clears throat> let's uh, let's jump to um, the book of Matthew. This is the book of Matthew, chapter six, verse thirty-three. It says, "And it's written in red, so was Lord Yahweh shot speaking, who you ignorantly call uh, 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 Jesus." All right. Yahweh shot in the Hebrew. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High. Now, how do you seek the kingdom of heaven? The kingdom of the Most High? Through his men that the Lord has set up. Okay, start with our head apostles and elders, the great millstone, and the brothers on down. That's how you seek the Most High. That's how you seek the kingdom of heaven, by obtaining the wisdom and knowledge, understanding that the Lord has provided them to give to you, alone down to brothers like myself. It says, and his righteousness, the law, statutes, and commandments, and all these things shall be added unto you. What things? What things shall be added unto you? Let's find out. Let's go to... Uh This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. But as it is written, <clears throat> I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the hearts, into the heart of man. Talking about the mind. Because well, that heart, word the heart goes back to the Hebrew word love, which means your mind. The things which the Most High have prepared for them that love him. You see? So you can't imagine what the Lord has in store for those that love him, man. They're seeking the kingdom of Yahweh by Shimei was shot, man. Okay? Not seeking this filthy, polluted place. Okay? With the spiritual Babylon. Okay? No, man. Seek the kingdom of heaven. Because what? The scripture said what? I'm going to read it again. 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. But as it is written... Your eye have not even seen what the Lord has prepared, nor ear heard. No one can tell you, okay, about the kingdom, okay, or what's in store for those that love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You haven't heard what's in store, man. Neither have entered to the minds, the heart, the mind of men, the things which Yahweh have prepared for them that love him, man. It's going to be, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> unspeakable, man. You know, the palaces, okay, the planets, okay, the the, the, uh, uh, the animals, the vegetation, okay, the clean air, the clean water, real food, a righteous kingdom, not having to work, okay. And let's get what love is real quick. This is the book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 3. I started too. By this we know that we love the children of the Most High. No, I started too. I get to point 3. 
This is book of 1 John chapter 1 verse 5. Book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 3. Slock you. For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. So that's the love of, uh, 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 of the Bible, man. That's the love that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is talking about, man. You know? So the Lord's going to have uh, amazing things, man. Unspeakable things for those that love Him, man. And it's talking about the kingdom of heaven. Okay? All different types of animals, creatures, planets, okay, galaxies, you name it, man. Kingdoms, all right, for those that that love him, man. That's why we need to be seeking the kingdom of Yahweh Bashimi Abashad, man. You know? Another way you do that, by seeking the Lord. It's a reward to seeking the Lord, man. Contrary to what they tell you here, okay? Oh, it's vain, you know. Nothing's gonna come out of seeking the Lord, you know. No, man, it's it's, it's a reward for seeking the Lord, man. This is Matthew six and nineteen. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do it corrupt. And that's what our people do all day long, man. They store up these uh, treasures on earth, man. You know, gold, silver, money. Okay, houses, cars, clothes, things that are going to burn, according to Second Peter's the third chapter. Okay, so we're not supposed to store those things up. It says, and with these break through and steal. Yeah, if these come through and break it through your house, they can take your possessions, take your TVs. Okay, things of that nature. Okay, and this is written in red, so it's Lord Yahweh Shah speaking on you. It's gonna be called Jesus. It says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. That's right, man. You know, you're supposed to lay up for yourselves heavenly treasures, because when you're in the when we're in the kingdom, okay, no one's gonna be able to take the things away that, that you have by Shemiah Shah has given you, man. You're not gonna be able to take your planets, okay? For some brothers that get planets. You're not gonna be able to take away your uh your uh your precious gold and silver, okay? Our women, our kids, okay. Our rest. They're not going to be doing that. Why? Because the righteous is going to be ruling, man. Psalm for Lord Yahweh shot. It says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So if your mind is on the treasures of this world, that's where your mind's going to be. But if your mind's on the treasures of seeking the Heavenly Father and heavenly things, then that's where it's going to be. And how do you do that? By doing the works of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, keeping the law, statutes, commands to the best of your ability. Okay, the Lord has given you this truth, bless you this truth to understand it and break it down. Go out there to the highways and byways and, 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 and preach the word, man. Okay, let's grab another one. We had two more, we're gonna close it out. This is a quick lesson on you know seeking the kingdom and the benefits of seeking the kingdom, man. You know. It says, verse Sirach 29, 11, Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. You see? Which is ultimately, you know, laying up wisdom. Okay? But as you're laying up wisdom, you're also laying up tre treasures in heaven, man. You know? Sirach 29, 11, Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High. So what? We have to keep the commandments. And it shall bring thee more profit than gold. You see? Because the scriptures say, uh, uh, riches profit not in the day of wrath. You know? So let's grab one more and close it on out. Let's go to the book of Luke. Because the Lord wants to give the children of Israel these things, man. You know? He wants to give us the kingdom of heaven. He wants to give us the uh, the uh, things that we are, 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 are fighting for, man. With salvation, the kingdom, righteousness. This is Luke 12 and 32 is written in red. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I started 31. Luke 12 and 31. But rather, it's written in red, so it's Lord Yahweh Shah speaking. It says, But rather ye seek the kingdom of the Most High, and all these things shall be added unto you. So it be in your best interest, you Israelites. 
so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, seek the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. Because we know that this kingdom is going to pass away. Once again, going to uh, 2 Peter, the third chapter. Okay? It says, uh, Fear not, verse 32, Luke 12 and 32, Fear not, little flock, for it is, the, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. See, it's the, it's, the, it's the Heavenly Father's good pleasure, man. To give us the kingdom, man. You know, he wants to give us the kingdom. But we got to seek it. You know, we got to search it. We got to we gotta, we gotta go go find it. And you find it through his men. Because that's who the Lord revealed his secrets to. It tells you that in almost the third chapter. The Lord revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. So, you know. So this is a quick lesson, man. You know, on, on seek the kingdom, man. Okay, because it's benefits of seeking the kingdom, man. You know? So with that, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, teaching us His truth according to the Bible and Haru well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akiyam, so at the four corners of the earth, pushing His truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.